Welcome back to Think Blue after the Dodgers beat the San Diego Padres in game one of the National League Division Series 7-5. to Man, um, what a game. Uh, it For a second there, it did not look like it was going to be a good night. Um, Dodgers were down early 3 to nothing, and I'll get into... Some of the things I liked, some of the things I didn't like, but what a baseball game. Um, did not get off to the great start, though. From the beginning, it looked like, oh, no, here we go again from last year. Remember, San Diego, I mean, Arizona put up, I believe, six runs in the first inning, knocked Kershaw out of the game. And before the Dodgers had even taken a swing, they were already down big. And it happened again today. San Diego did not mess around. Machado had a big two-run home run to make it 3 nothing. But this team showed their fight and their resiliency. One of the quotes that came out of the NOS Division Championship last week, Dave Roberts said before they started popping champagne that they will be no team will have more fight than them. And after one game, he was right. This team fought, had good ABs, got guys on base, and they figured out a way to come back in this game. They were down twice. They were down 3 nothing after one. And Shohei Otani, are you kidding me? First postseason game, and he already delivers a big moment, a game-tying three-run home run in the bottom of the second. Dodger Stadium went bananas, by the way. That's probably one of the loudest I have ever heard Dodger Stadium. Similar to that was 2021 NLCS Game 3. Cody Bellinger tied the game at 5 with a three-run home run at a ball that was at his face. I was there for that in the reserve level. Place went nuts. This was louder than that. When Otani got a hold of it, Everybody knew it was gone. He knew it, the bat flip, everything. And I think it allowed Dodger fans and that Dodger dugout to calm down and breathe. Because it was not, obviously I mentioned a good start. Um, like I mentioned, they had to come back twice in this game, down 3 nothing and down 5-3. They put up fight and they put up great at-bats and they figured out a way get, to get runs across and we're able to hold on and win this game. Um, before I continue to go on the stuff that I liked, I'm going to do the one thing that I didn't like. Yoshinobu Yamamoto did not have a good start. Only lasted three innings, and he gave up five runs. Um, gave up three innings, gave up three runs in the first, like I mentioned. And then right after the Dodgers tied it with the Otani home run, gave the lead right back on a Xander Bogart's uh, two RBI double. Not a good start, without question. If he's going to pitch again this series or this postseason, has to be better. Has to be better. But, like I mentioned, the Dodgers won the game. You don't have to worry about that right now. Um, Shout out to the bullpen. Holding it down. After Yamamoto got pulled in the third inning, Dodgers were able to hold it down from the fourth inning on. I'm going to read you off the guys that were in there tonight. Yamamoto lasted three innings. Ryan Brazier was able to get you five outs. Alex Vesia was able to give you an inning. Evan Phillips gave you an inning. Michael Kopech struggled, was overthrowing, but Dave Roberts again, figuring out a way to get out of it. Puts in Blake Trinan. Shout out to him. America's closer. Was able to get five huge outs, which were stress for outs. Because he came in with a couple guys on base in the eighth inning. Loaded the bases up. And then got a huge strikeout to end that inning. And then he came up again, back for the ninth inning. Got in some trouble again, but was able to get out of it on a Machado strikeout. Huge shout out to the Dodger bullpen today for holding it down. After Yamamoto, like I mentioned, didn't have it. 
the thing that I wanted to see. I just wanted to see, I want to see this team play with some urgency. I want to see this team play with some fire. Because we've seen that the last two years with Arizona and San Diego. They were the ones who were playing with heart, playing with hustle, and playing like it was a game seven. Dodgers weren't doing that. And tonight, I saw that. Got some big hits when they needed Teoscar Hernandez. Two out of your three big signings in the offseason contributed today in this game one win. Obviously, we know the one who did it, Yamamoto. Otani contributed. And Teoscar Hernandez. He's been so much fun to watch this season. And it, and he came up again big to put the Dodgers back in front 6-5. to five. Huge, huge game by him tonight. And now the Dodgers have a one to nothing lead in this best of five division series. It's not over yet. I've already seen a couple people who have no dog in this fight saying this series is over. Hang on a second. May I remind you that the Dodgers won game one against San Diego two years ago. And they lost the next three games. Maybe this time things will be different. Maybe they'll keep telling a different message. But this series is not over. Um, San Diego... They're going to throw, and I'm sure Dodger fans and the Dodger players in that clubhouse, they probably know this. They are throwing their best punch tomorrow. They're throwing you Darvish out there, of course. Dodgers are throwing out Jack Flaherty. But they're going to pull out all the stops tomorrow, like they did two years ago in Game 2, to win tomorrow. Because they know if they don't, and they have to go back to San Diego down 0-2, it's not impossible to win three games in a row. But history shows you that it nearly is impossible. Can it be done? Absolutely. But San Diego is technically playing for their season tomorrow. And I'm sure they know that. And the Dodgers have to be ready for that and have to continue to fight and punch back. Because like I mentioned, you're getting San Diego's best shot tomorrow. Without question. Um... You know, I had mentioned yesterday during the preview that I wanted to see Dodger Stadium filled before first pitch. Big round of applause for the Dodger fans who came tonight. They were loud. They were into it. They were waving their towels. Dodger Stadium was ready to go before the game started, during the anthems and the team introductions on the field. I give Dodger fans a lot of credit because we we get a bad rap. Of course, you know, the thing that is mentioned with us that, yeah, We come late to games and we leave early to beat the traffic. That was not the case tonight. 53,000. Most of them Dodger fans, of course, sprinkled in with a couple San Diego fans. But shout out to the Dodger fans today. They brought the energy and and I think this Dodger team fed off of that energy. You heard it from Otani and you heard it from Teoscar after the game that the crowd was a big help tonight. So shout out to them. Shohei Otani. Unbelievable. Took me pretty much eight minutes to get into this, but first postseason game, and he delivers in a big spot. Probably a questionable move. You have two guys on. You have Shohei Otani up to base with base with two outs. Maybe you should have walked him and pitched to Mookie, who's been struggling in these spots recently in the postseason. I'm sure Mike Schultz, manager of the Padres, is probably going to want that one back maybe. But again, when you have a pitcher like Dylan Cease of his caliber who's thrown no hitters and won some big games, I'm sure he wanted to go after him. And Hotani was able to get a hold of a fastball, and he ripped it down in the pavilion and tied the game. Incredible. That was emotional. When I saw that, that kind of brought a little tear to my eye. Not going to lie, I was happy because Hotani... Number one, before this series started yesterday, he mentioned, somebody asked him, are you nervous? And he didn't even need the, the report, the translator. He immediately said no. Which, you know, if you're going to say something like that right away, you better deliver. And he did tonight. I understand it's one game, but Shohei Tawny, the best player in the planet right now. First postseason game first postseason win you know this is crazy this is the first dodger postseason win since and i'm gonna find the date real quick because i was there 
two years ago. Um, this is their first postseason win since October 11th, 2022. It was game one against the San Diego Padres. They had not won, never mind a home game in the postseason. Just a postseason game in general. It had been almost two years to the day. Of course, we know they lost the next three, San Diego, and were eliminated. And then, of course, they got swept to Arizona last year. So it had been a long time since Dodger Stadium and Dodger fans got to experience a postseason win. That was good. That felt good. A little shaky there at the end. I was very nervous, and I think the stadium was getting nervous too. But Blake Trinan, once again, showing that he's got ice in his veins and was able to get huge five outs to help put this game away and give the Dodgers a one nothing lead in this best-of-five division series. Game two tomorrow, we'll be right back at it. Of course, Hugh Darvish for the Padres, Jack Flaherty for the Dodgers. And one of my main keys, and probably the main key for game two, Jack Flaherty has to give you some length. Has to give you some length. Because this bullpen was used a lot. And they earned it. They earn to not be used as much tomorrow. Uh, I don't think Evan Phillips, he almost, I think he threw 40 pitches tonight. He is definitely not available for game two. I can tell you that right now, unless it is absolutely necessary, maybe to keep you in a game or something. I don't think he's going to be available for this, for tomorrow. So Jack Flaherty has to give you length. He has to give you length. And another key, can I see these Dodger bats come up to play in a 0-0 game? Is that too much to ask? This is now, I think, three out of the last, two out of the last, no, three out of the last four postseason games where the Dodgers come up in the bottom of the first inning and they're already down. Jack Flaherty needs to set the tone early and give us a zero in the top of the first inning. Because like I said, San Diego's throwing their best punch tomorrow. Because they know if they lose tomorrow, more than likely their season is over. But hey, huge win for the Dodgers, huge win for L.A., up 1-0 in a crazy game where it didn't look like it was going to be a good night. I mentioned that. There was this eerie, quiet, scary moment at Dodger Stadium. You know, people were probably like, "Uh uh-oh, here we go again. And I'm sure all the people on social media were ready to rip into the Dodgers. But that didn't happen today. Huge shot, a huge win. They showed a lot of fight. They showed a lot of courage and a lot of guts. Not an easy game to win tonight. And the Dodgers easily could have gave up that lead and could have lost 8-7 to seven or 9-7. to seven. But they held it down and they were able to win this game. That's going to be it for me. Game 1 is in the books. Feels good to get this started. You know, we didn't know our opponent until Wednesday night and the Dodgers wrapped up the division nine, 10 days ago. So they haven't played any meat. They have played the three games in Colorado that meant absolutely nothing. And then they've been off this whole week and they've been sitting around just waiting for their opponent. So it, it felt good to get this thing started. Game two tomorrow at five Oh three. Of course, I'll be doing this again tomorrow, recapping, hopefully another Dodger win. But for now, I'm Melo. Dodgers hang on and win 7-5, and they're up 1-0 in this NLDS against the Padres. I'll see you tomorrow. Let's go, Dodgers. Adios.